What is normalization? In a previous lesson, we discussed database and its different types. In this section, we are going to discuss normalization. Normalization is the process of organizing data in a database effectively. Here we are going to discuss normalization in database. In a database, normalization is the process of breaking data down into its most basic components. We can use this to remove redundancy in data. This process is a database refinement process that organizes a database, so the data in the database is always unambiguous. Let's see the main goal of normalization in a database. The main goal of normalization is to reduce duplicate entries in the database. These duplicate entries will occupy more memory space and lead to data corruption because the same information is stored in different locations. Normalization is the process to avoid these problems. In normalization, there is a set of guidelines to be followed to avoid these problems. In 1970, Edgar Codd proposed the first normal form, which is represented as 1NF, and then he defined normal forms 2 and 3. Now we are going to discuss the first normal form in detail. The first normal form sets the very basic rules for an organized database. Eliminate duplicate columns from the same table. Create separate tables for each group of related data and identify each row with a unique column or set of columns, the primary key. Now let's discuss the second normal form, 2NF. The second normal form, 2NF, further addresses the concept of removing duplicate data. Let's see the rules to say it is in second normal form. The table should meet all the requirements of the first normal form, and it removes subsets of data that apply to multiple rows of a table and places them in separate tables. Finally, the relationships between these new tables are created, and their relationships are created through the use of foreign keys. Third normal form, 3NF. Third normal form, 3NF, goes one large step further than the other two normal forms. The database must meet all the requirements of the second normal form, and it removes columns that were not dependent upon the primary key. Here the primary key is nothing but a column in a table. We will see this in detail in upcoming lessons. The fourth normal form, 4NF. The fourth normal form, 4NF, has one additional requirement over the other normal forms. The database in this normal form should meet all the requirements of the other three normal forms, and a relationship is in 4NF if it has no multi-valued dependencies. In this lesson we learn normalization and its different normal forms. Here I have only given the simple instruction to normalization and its types because the terms may be very hard to understand. There are some more normal forms to be learned. We will see the implementation of these normal forms in our database in upcoming lessons. You can find out more information about normalization and its types from this web reference.